I'm top Fern Park Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town & Country. We're at 107 Eastwood Lane, Fern Park, Florida. 32750 here in Lake of the Woods. And the purpose of this video is to give you what you can't see. You look at the very best pictures online. People call and say, what's it really like? Well, this is what Lake of the Woods is really like. If you're even thinking about buying a home here in Fern Park, Lake of the Woods, or anywhere nearby, I want you to call me, Scott Garrison. I've been listing and selling homes like this full time, every day, day in and day out, for 33 years. I own property right here in the area, of course, and I know the neighborhood well. I actually own a condo about 100 feet away, right over there in Ashwood. So if you're looking in Ashwood as well, it's a whole different type of place. People love Lake of the Woods here, for sure. We've got Olympic-sized swimming pool, we've got a lake, the dock, park, playground, tennis, basketball courts, big clubhouse, library, game room, banquet hall, gym, locker rooms, dry sauna. Here's what people really like. It's for the price, including the HOA, what you get is way stronger than a single family home. HOA manages that roof, does the yard work, fixes the exterior, and You've got, as you can see, a two-car garage, which is very difficult to find. Now, the HOA is only $213 a month. It's about what it costs just to hire a yard service if you had a regular house. So by the time you just take the $213 plus the asking price, you look for your money in the low-maintenance living. You almost can't beat it. Nice location right near the intersection of 1792 and Semeron. Lots of shopping nearby. Get in the Maitland Interchange to I-4 pretty quickly. And we're gonna go take a look. Three bedrooms, two baths for this one. 1,904 square feet. That's part of the HOA. Who's fixing the exterior. You can see they're actually fixing it now. These were all built in the 70s, some built in 1974. People really love this little courtyard option. Take a quick look over. Somebody else decided not to do as much with it. Some people I've seen little tables set up. And it becomes a pretty cool addition to your living space. This one's been totally redone. At this point, almost all of them have been redone. It was built in the 70s, so over time, people have redid the counters, put new appliances in. All this looks brand new. They did a pretty good job with it. If you like that open cabinet concept. Can make up for the open cabinets. Using the cabinets in here. Some of these are enclosed porches. Some of these are actual porches. We've got an enclosed porch here. And we go out. And we have the obviously little used backyard. It's not a main road. We are on the road right there. See the car going by the intersection at Oxford. And we're trying to show you what you don't see. If you uh, look at the best pictures. On this one, I have the feeling the roof is a little older, just based on how it looks. But remember, the roof is not your issue. So life is good. There we go. Hello. 
nice mirrors. You can see somebody consistent, did some good decorating, interesting colors, everything's newer. Let's go upstairs. Of course, this is a horror movie. Everybody would be saying, don't go upstairs. Don't go. But I'm going anyway. Otherwise, the movie stops. Nice, consistent paint with accent walls. There, there. Got somebody showing it. It's just been a couple days on the market and there's literally a parade, a line of people to see it. You can see someone's been as creative as possible. Trying to make the space unique and do it in a cost-effective manner. This is a nice size room right here. And then we've got this. Bedroom number three. Gotta love the matching floors all the way through. Oh, we really don't have a view out that. Just a garage to see. Okay. So we're back out into the front. And I'll tell you the thing you just cannot put a price on in this price range is the two car garage with the cute little box to catch your mail. Newer garage door. It's even been painted in here. That floor looks really good. Extra refrigerator, this is quite a walk to come out to get an extra beer. Got the washer and dryer out here, of course. And that is the other side of the door in the garage. So you can get straight through to the house without coming out through here and risk getting wet. If you are thinking, I kind of want a town home. I want someone to take care of the yard and the exterior and the paint and the roof and the siding when it goes bad. Like the neighborhood. You need to call me. Top Firm Park Realtor Scott Garrison with, that's my car, who of course usually not there, with Remax Town and Country. Call me and let me find you one of these. That's new on the market. That's just what you want. Or find you something else. Okay, thanks.